Hi, it's Will from StormyCastle.com and this is a tutorial on how to make something called a kite messenger. What a kite messenger is, is a, some kind of an object that when you're flying a kite, it's up in the air, so the string actually should be at an angle. It's up in the air, the messenger rides on that and the wind will push it all the way up to the top of the kite. So it rides up the string, which is kind of nice, kind of cool looking. But the thing about a messenger is, is that it also has a release mechanism so that when it gets to the top of the kite, it will come back down. So if, this wind, if the wind is still blowing, it wouldn't be able to come back down. So what this release mechanism does on here, on this one, is <clears throat> you see this little setup I have here, and it's kind of hinged there on a screw. This will hit the kite, like this, and it <clears throat> releases the sail so the sail can fall. And then so now there's no more wind blowing, it'll, the weight of the messenger will send it back down to the kite. So let me show you how that works. Watch as this hits this wall here. Can you see that? All right. So it's riding up the kite, it hits the kite, and it releases. And the sail falls. So then it rides back down, like that. So kind of a neat little thing, kind of an unusual little setup. And I will show you uh, how to make this. And it takes a little bit of tweaking and tuning, so and you have to watch a little bit. But it's, it's kind of fun to work on, a little neat little thing. And if you, <clears throat> you want to fly a kite, I mean, that's great. But if you have a messenger to send up the kite, it's kind of, kind of unique. You know, it's kind of something different. So let me launch into the tutorial showing you how to make this kite messenger. Okay, so let's take a look now at how this is built. And I wanted to point out a couple of things first. Uh, first off, you can see these coins I have on here. And I just glued these on. You can tape on some coins. But what that is, is because of the, because of the weight of the sail, this is prone to tip. The sail might be heavier than the actual bottom of the boat. So just tape on some coins to make sure it stays in the upright position. That's all that is. And yours will differ depending on how much you, uh, how, how you build your uh, boat. And I use, you can use almost anything for this. You can use some cardboard. I, you can even, see this, I have this um, index, this cardstock paper. You could use, probably be able to figure this out, a piece of foam. You know, and, and you want to decorate it to, to make, just carve out like a bowl shape here. It's like a, kind of like a boat shape. And then, then I have a piece of wood here that's uh, one half inch by one half inch. And that's kind of the base that everything is attached to. So you want to have that. And then I picked up these two pulleys at a, at a hardware store. So you want to use pulleys for this because it needs to ride pretty smoothly. And, I, and the thing about this is if uh, these pulleys are closed pulleys, which means you have to feed the string through it. So that's a consideration. You may want to put this on before you fly your kite, or you have to put it on the other end of the string. So that's, you can get open-ended pulleys, so, and I recommend those, you get open-ended pulleys. So you can just, if you have the string, you can just, right from the side like this, just flop them into the pulleys. So try to get those if you can. Now let's look, take a look at the uh, mechanism here. Any kind of a solid wire you can use to make this, and I want to explain how this works and why. But at the end of it, let's take a look here. At the end of this, you put a hoop, and that rides on the string. And when that's depressed by hitting the kite, like that, the like that, the sail will fall. So you make a hoop like that. And then uh, this is a, uh, this metal is bent like this, bent like this. So you're going to 90 degree there, 90 degree here, 90 degree here, and a hoop over here, just a nice big hoop to fit this other wire through. And the reason why you can't just go straight here is for a couple of things. If you get as far away from this pivot point as possible, you'll, get, you'll be able to push that a lot easier. So you get more uh, force on it like that. So, and to run that through this, is I, all I did was glue a straw in here. So this rides inside a straw which is kind of an easy way to set it up. And now this one, see how this is a very long, so you want to come down here as far as you can like this. And this one's very long, which also helps in improving in your pressure. You'll get more travel out of the tarp, which means you're better, now it's better. For a shorter motion here, you'll get a longer motion here. So, so you want that to disconnect. So you push on this, and it disconnects because you get a nice long throw out of that. So that's something to consider. And all it says is twist it in a hoop and a screw put through it, but not tighten down on it. It pivots freely. So, see? Pivots freely. 
So just feed it through a straw. Don't connect these together. You just run this one through that hoop you made. Okay, so let me give you a quick review of the sail. And I, and I have more videos. I'm trying to piece something together here, but let's take a look. The bottom of the sail is securely attached to the main. That way it doesn't slip sideways. It's more, you want it to stay perpendicular so it actually doesn't, so it works as an air scoop. Uh, the top of the sail isn't connected to the, to, the, uh, to the mast. It's tied by a string and I attached a little piece of wire with a hoop up here. So let me see if you can see that. There's a hoop in that. And the wire feeds through, the, the string feeds through that hoop. So it connects from the sail, feeds through the hoop, comes down to a little hook down here, a little hoop, a little loop, just barely connected to that. So what happens is when you pull it forward, when you when it hits the kite, that pivots like that and disconnects the sail and it rides back down. Okay, so that's pretty much how the whole thing is built and uh, that's a pretty good summary so you can try to go ahead and build one. And uh, what, why, um, I just wanted to tell you that um, why I'm building this and I built the, yesterday I built the uh, bottle boat is because I'm putting out a, 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 a small booklet on uh, summer fun projects, you know, different stuff like that. I got a whole bunch of projects that are great in summertime, you know, uh, rockets, uh, airplanes, uh, you know, these kind of projects that are just great for outdoor fun and seeing as it's summer. So that's a PDF that I'm going to give away to my uh, newsletter subscribers. So I'm just trying to finish these projects up. So that's a, that's a great look overall at, um, at this boat. Now, following this, now I have some assembly notes and some assembly um, videos so if you really want to build one you might want to continue watching and watch all of that so you get a really good sense for how all of this stuff is built uh, otherwise thanks for watching and uh, lots more stuff on my site website at stonycastle.com now probably the easiest way to lay out your sail is to flatten out a thin paper a thin plastic bag and um, and then put your tape on it the size of the sail it'll be much easier to cut out when you handle mine is a 10 inches by 10 it's a 10 inch square what I did was to make the actual sail, I laid out a plastic bag and I ran tape on it in, in the square that I wanted. In my case it's 10 inches square. And then I cut that out on the tape so it makes for a nice sail. You know, it'll keep its shape pretty good. I've um, attached, I've used barbecue skewers here. One for the long main mast. And one for this, ma for this uh, mast here, I, uh, which is 10 inches, I, <coughs> I had to um, tie that down real tight to the upright and then glue it in place. You don't want this to rotate on that shaft. You want that main mast to stay straight. You don't want this to rotate. If it rotates, the wind would change it and, and it won't work to move the messenger. So uh, glue that down really nice so that stays nice and in one specific ang angle like that. Now the top one, you put your, your barbecue skewer inside the mast, tape it down, but you don't want to secure that to your upright. What you're going to do is you're going to use a piece of string like this. Because what happens here, this is the basic concept here with the messenger is, the wind takes it, it blows it up the kite string, and then when it gets there, it gets released, and it let this lets go, and then it lets go. See? And it falls down, and now that the wind isn't blowing, it'll come back down the kite string. So that's the most, that's the important thing here, so that's what you got. So tie a string, and you can use kite string, to the center of this here, and then put a little piece of wire on the top of your main mast with a hoop in it. And then run your string through that. See, and I'll have more of this on my website. I'll have some really specific pictures and directions. It's tough to do something like this in a video. But an important thing to think about when uh, putting the straw on the wire is that you can't pre-bend this whole thing and then feed it through the straw, it won't fit. So you have to bend some of it and feed that, see, so bend some of it, feed the loose straw on there before you put it on the boat because as you can see I have to feed this through and then now I have to bend it to get an angle but it's going to be difficult for me to bend while it's in there so I'm going to take this off. 